Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to Let's Replay Blasphemous. Yes, we're going to head back into the bowels of Custodia on this, uh, what day even is it? It's sort of post-Christmas, and it's one of those days where I don't even know. I don't even know what day it is. I, I'm still recovering, quite frankly, from drinking a lot of port and eating a lot of shit. So, uh, oh, there goes any chance of monetization I have. I don't monetize these videos, but the algorithm doesn't like it when you swear in the first, like, I don't know, two minutes or something like that. So, shit, fuck, cunt, sit, and etc. You know, as many swear words as you can imagine, just spilling forth. Anywho, here we are, back at the Brotherhood of Silent Sorrow, a new area, in fact, of the Brotherhood, which is kind of cool. Never been here before. Apparently, uh, several of the area. Oh, look at the background. That's very cool, isn't it? Several of the areas have been expanded, and there are several new areas. Oh, look at that. It's painterly. That is absolutely beautiful. Like, the, the dusky mood, the sort of eventide mood of uh, Blasphemous is just incredible, isn't it? It's beautiful. What's this, then? Hmm... It looks like there be a treasure here. What's this? Required Tirana of the Celestial Bastion. Hello. This is a spell. A prayer that uh, abuses the boundaries of the miracle to sanctify the very air around whoever intones it. Okay. It generates a barrier of divine lightning that damage any enemies trying to cross it. That's cool. I'm going to have to use that. I do not fear punishment for wanting to know what is forbidden, for asking more than I should, for wanting to look beyond the olive groves. I do not fear punishment, for everything hails from the divine. That's really rather lovely. Tirana of the Celestial Bastion. That's actually a really lovely poem. I like that. So, a new spell. Hmm. Mirabas of the Return to Port, Lady of the Blue Light, cast out the shadows from my corner, take away the darkness from my looking glass, where the light has died. Lady, bring us warmth with your lamp of the sun. Take away the cold, take away the ice from this sea of pain. There's some actually really lovely writing in this game. There's better writing in this than there is in Alan Wake, and that's about a writer. Anywho. Uh, ooh. Oh, now that is interesting. This is closed to us at the moment. I wonder how we get in there. Hmm, and I haven't the... the means of casting that spell yet. How interesting. I'm gonna have to find it. Before we do anything, I need to put on the, the correct relic. Or make sure I've got the correct relic to fall. Yes, that's the one. Huh? This'll take me down back into the, uh... Oh, hello! There's a sheriff here. Not for very long. Ah! <laughs> got it. There's the twisted one in the background, overlooking us all. That's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. I love the chains attached to it. Uh, we'll find out more about the twisted one later. He's kind of like the original manifestor of the miracle. Um, the one that it originates from. It's fascinating stuff. I mean, there are, there are like incumbents of the miracle. There are those who take on every pain and sin of the miracle. Um, and they become kind of like the de facto rulers of Custodia. Um, Escrabar is the current incumbent. The guy who is basically the last boss of the game. We're going to keep the Penitence of the Bleeding Heart because I, I actually rather like this one. I don't know whether it does anything in the game to carry a Penitence around other than changing the dynamic of the game and making it a bit more interesting. But it is fun. It is fun. And it seems that the uh, the incumbents of the miracle become the incumbents by basically slaying the previous one. Oh, hello! Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. No, but you get there easily enough, don't you? Blah, 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 blah. We've, we've, we've heard this. Thank you, Tierso. That's his name, by the way. That's Tierso. He's quite fun. I like him. Well, fun is a is maybe a strong word for anyone in Custodia, to be perfectly honest. For a given day, hello, man. Here he is again. You move quickly, don't you? It Look at his knees. Possible. Mm. That which bears hundreds of years of oblivion has returned. It has. It has been unearthed. 
Look at the state of his knees. Bloody hell. Not but that which it has. I like the way he readjusts the ropes. <laughs> That's funny. I like the colours our penitent one is wearing at the moment. I think that's really rather fab. I like the magenta. Blah, blah. Blah. Okay. Apparently, from what I understand, there's more going on here as well in this uh, in this update. There's a lot that you can do in the Holy Line that's a little bit different from before, which is cool. So, what we've got to do... We've got to make sure we activate the parameters that bring about the the good ending, so we can fight Escrabar and get the good ending, uh, which is easy enough. That's not too difficult. We've already got the um, the pearl that allows you to do that, so that's not too difficult at all. Um, we've got to. We've already awakened the. Um, I can't remember what they're called, but the. The uh, the sort of female incumbents of the miracle that are in those glass tombs. We've already awakened them, so that's not going to be too difficult. But we've just got to find them now. And uh, fight them, which is the big pain in the ass. They're all very, very, very difficult indeed. Ah, Elbero. Lovely place. It really isn't. <laughs> I love this notion of every... I mean, I've said this so many times in these playthroughs, but worlds, created fantasy worlds where it feels like things are breaking down, where it feels like uh, ideology is coming to its end, I think there's a genuine reflection in that of what is happening in real culture and real politics, the systems in which we live. Um, there is, uh, in the postmodern era, this pervasive sense of ideological and systemic decay. Um, from which it's difficult to see an escape. I mean, there will be a transition of some description, just as there is here in Custodia, but what shape that will take is almost impossible to predict. I mean, the sad fact of the matter is, in our real-life present circumstances, it feels like it's sadly going to be fascistic, does it not? That it's going to be a shift into the authoritarian, um, which would be very sad, indeed. We are better than that. Humanity is better than that. And we deserve better than that, quite frankly. We deserve better than right-wing capitalist fascistic structures. We deserve way better than that. Right, this is Echoes of Salt. There's a lot more going on here than there was beforehand. A lot more. Ah! Oh, I hate those bastard things. This is a nasty uh, combination of enemies we've got going on here. Thank you. There we go. Okay, so where do... Mm, we've already visited the sister, haven't we? But we never came this way last time. So where does this go? God, these slow, plodding, tomb-carrying guys. Just die, will you? Ugh, oh, there we go. Their corpses are actually in the tombs on their backs. The statue is not the living... Is not the... Oh, hello. Morning and have a... Oh, hello. What the hell are you? Oh, dear. Oh, God. Ow. Bloody hell. I've never seen this before. This is fabulous. This is all new to me, guys. This is all part of the new update. Look at this. Bloody hell. We're going to die very quick. Oof. We were lucky there. This is very hard. Oof. Whoa, 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 whoa. My God, this is difficult. Okay. It's like... Look, these ships are all underground. This is a vast underground cavern. But it... Oh, look. You can see the sort of will-o'-the-wisps on the edges of the, um, the sails in the background. Presumably, they're all these creatures, these burning effigies. This is really cool. Oh, fuck. This is going to be difficult. I'm going to have to time this so perfectly to kill this thing. Huh? Hello? Whoa! This is fat. Oh, look at these guys! Ew. Sort of muck men. Blech. This is fantastic. A whole new area to play with. Oh, I like the music. The music is very dolorous and sort of mourning. Blech. No, you leave me alone. I'm so glad that they expanded Echoes of Salt. There was so much promised in it. 
in um, the previous uh, version of the game, but it was clearly an unfinished area. It was just sort of like a transitional area. Now it's cl it's a it's a whole um, section, which is brilliant. Okay, so now is there any way I can just sort of like hurtle part? No, there isn't, is there? So. You either take the slow and steady route, or you take the quick and dangerous route. That seems to be the uh, the trade-off here. Hmm. So we've been up there. That's where the sister is, if you remember. The tomb of the sister is up there. And we've already visited her. So presumably, when we meet um, What's-His-Face on the bridge, the, uh, the night boss, you know, the one who is, like, one of the hardest early bosses you fight in the game... Um, something different will happen because we have. Oh, hello, it's you again. We have the um, the scapula of his sister, right? God, these things are tough. I don't have to take some killing. I've got a cup of coffee, by the way. Hmm. Now this is interesting. I can't get up there. Not yet. I don't have the means of getting up there. So how do we... Um... Hmm. There's clearly something we have to do. Some puzzle we have to solve or something. Um, to access that upper area. Maybe we have to kill her. Maybe that will... Um... God, that can't be it. Because like, just hitting her is almost impossible. You've got to like catch her on exactly the right arc of your strike, otherwise you don't hit her. It's very tricky. Hmm. There's got to be something around here. I don't know, something you can chop down, something you can activate. Hmm, this is very mysterious. I like it. Certainly adds a new flair to the game, doesn't it? Yeah. We can't do it that way. How interesting. I presume there must be... Or maybe there's a new relic that allows you to get across there. I mean, I know there's never going to be a double jump. The, the creators have said they that is one element they are not going to introduce into this game because it would make it, at certain parts of it, just too easy. Hmm. Ow! Thank you! God, the music is gorgeous in this new area. And, you know, hats off to them because this is this is all free. All of the add-ons for this game have been free. I... Pfft, I mean, brilliant, right? I, I just cannot get over how good this game has been. And that the add-ons for it are free, that it's an evolving project. Magnificent, guys. I mean, bravo. It deserves all the kudos it gets, because it's a, it's a genuinely stunning piece of work. I mean, Blasphemous is one of my favourite games of the last... Oof, what? At least half a decade, definitely. It's a really beautiful piece of work. It's so playable. It's got everything I want from a video game. It's got exploration, it's got mystery, it's got metaphysics. It's got that wonderful sort of sumptuous world that's very detailed, but also very beautifully communicated. So you have to engage with it in order to get the most out of it. No, there's not very much that tells you what Custodia is. And I love it for that. I really love it for that. Like, the miracle. The miracle itself is probably the greatest mystery, is it not? Hmm. I'm just thinking, if I got a spell I could use to kill it easier, that might, uh... That might be helpful. Might it not? Oh, there are... Hmm. There are spaces for hymns we haven't got. That's interesting. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to find them, whatever they are. Ow! Fuck! This is not going well. <laughs> I like it, but I'm not very good at it. That's you know, it's the Dark Souls approach to things, right? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm oh, that didn't do anything. I thought that might have. I don't know. Caused the the mast to collapse or something, so I could access the other area. But apparently not. So. Mm. Mysterious. Oh, that is mysterious, isn't it? <sighs> so there's clearly something. There's that. We need to destroy that to bring the, the rope bridge down. But we can't do it yet. How fascinating. 
Casting a spell isn't going to do it, is it? Or he can't, like, hit it with a spell. No. I didn't think it'd let us off that easily. Oh well. Mystery it will have to remain for now. That's brilliant. I love that. These muck men are great too. <laughs> I like them a lot. I think they're endlessly spawning as well. You've got to be quite careful with them. Wherever the helmet falls, they just get back up. What's with these relics that are everywhere as well? Have you noticed there are relics everywhere? Look, these things. What's with that? Hmm. I find myself perplexed and intrigued by all of this. Which is the best state in one of these games, I can tell you. Ah, delicious. Restored! Okay. Let's go and find some other stuff to do, shall we? So that's unlocked, and that's fascinating. So where should we go? Should we go back to Albiro and see what's going on here? It's a bit of a happening town, is Albiro. There's always something fun going on. Can't do anything with that because, um, well, we've got everything. In this condition, we've got everything. Oh yeah, the ossuary. We should really open the ossuary, shouldn't we? Hello, what have we got here? Kalsaneum of Persian the Bandit. Feared by his countrymen, Persian attacked roots without distinction between rich or poor, and always alone. The day he dragged himself to Albira on the brink of death, no one took pity on him. Ah, Poor Persian the Bandit. What a shame. Kalsaneum. What a lovely... I mean, you learn a lot playing this game about the names of bones. You really do. So apparently there's something new here. Look, this guy wasn't here before. Hello. This lowly servant greets you, O penitent one. Do you need a throat lozenge or something, man? To the ossuary of all those who will be eternally remembered. The ossuary. What a lovely word. My duty is none other than to provide shelter to each and every one of these skeletal remains that linger under these intangible veils of dust. Oh, that's why there's all dust around him. Right, okay. Fair enough. It matters little how many years or centuries have passed. The bones speak to us through their creaking and grinding and through their silence. Okie dokie. Whatever you say, man. Must be fun. What a fun job you've got. But these remains need one another in order to reveal the truth. Still guard within. Ooh, okay. Further secrets. Only Yay! Together, in intimate brotherhood, will they achieve eternal rest. Mm. This, they beg that you help them. Only together in intimate brotherhood. Why do I get the feeling? And in this way, we will uncover the truth that they have silenced. Why do I get the feeling all the bones are going to merge together into something awful? Well, we're not doing too badly, actually. We've already Listen got quite a few. The creaking of the bones in the darkness. Will they hear us too? Okie dokie. This is starting to sound like the ramblings of a madman. For your help. They are awakening. And with them, so too is the voice. Mm, not sure I like the sound of that. Bring the rest of the bones before me, penitent one. His, um... His osseophilia, if that is indeed the term, um, is a little strange, is it not? But yeah, ossuary is, is a beautiful term. It's a place of bones, effectively. Um, there's one I've always wanted to visit in um, a little town called Kutnahora, um, which is just outside of uh, Prague, uh, called the Sedlek Ossuary, and it's just... Hello! Yes, I forgot about you. It's decorated with the bones of old priests and saints, and it's it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Two faces greet you, penitent one. My name is Nascimento. Look at my chest. I'd rather not. In which an ancient visage grows older and older. Mm. A face that does not speak, that does not think, while mine becomes younger, such that I now look like a child. That's a very strange thing, isn't it? Yeah. 
No matter how much I reflect on the sin that I may have committed to deserve it. Yes, what is the miracle trying to tell him through this? The miracle is present even in those who are punished. Perhaps I might reduce the magnitude of this sentence by helping you. Maybe, man. Maybe. Free the quicksilver, which is capable of flourishing under our feet in any place at the whim of the grievous one. And I will mix it with the bile from your flasks. Thereby enhancing its gift. Yay! Okay, so basically this will improve our bile flasks, but it will also lessen them. It will it will make them more potent, but it will take one or, or one away, I believe. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. May as well do it. Go for it. And the more silver, I bless the mixture that will recover your spilled blood. The more you do it, the more his story progresses. And it's a it's a disturbing one. It really is. Um not yet. Wait till I've got a few more. And then we'll do it. It's a really disturbing story, that one. It's good, though. We're going to do it. We're definitely going to do the whole arc, because it's really good fun. Uh, I suppose we should do the Mountains of, uh, of Endless Dusk at some point. Uh, there's a, they're, they're kind of a transitional area. Very beautiful, though. One of my favourites, actually. It really, it, it, they really cap... Oh, hello, you. They really capture the essence of what Custodia is, maybe more so than any other area in the game. The, the mood of them is just sumptuously beautiful. Have we done this bit already? I don't remember. Um, yes, I've been here, haven't I? We've done all this, I think. Um, let's have a look. Is there anything we can do down here? Let me just double check. I think this takes you to Hondo, doesn't it? If I remember correctly. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we've done all this. This just takes you to Hondo. Um, we can't get in through that way yet, though. Um, one thing I can do, I believe, is upgrade myself. No, we've done that. So, ah, can't do that yet. Shit. Oh, well. That was a little bit of a dead end there, wasn't it? Oh, well. Maybe next time. I love these, like, big lifts that link everything together. That's, a, it's, that's a very much a standard in these kinds of Metroidvania games. Since Metroid itself, that, you know, the, the various areas of the original Metroid on the NES were linked together by lifts. Um, just as the areas of Super Metroid were on the Super Nintendo. If I can get my hands on, like, a, um, one of the, the mini NESs, I'll do Super Metroid for you. Because we've done, we've done so many Metroidvanias, we may as well go back to where it all began, right? These are the Mountains of Endless Dusk, by the way. They are gorgeous. Do you mind? Oh, yeah, the Chalice of Inverted Verses. You know, yeah... That's a tricky quest to do, that one. We'll do that towards the end. It's a bit of a pain, to be honest. You've got to kill three specific monsters in order and within a particular time frame without dying. Um, and that will fill the chalice with their blood. And then you need to take it back to the relevant area. And that will open up a secret. It's a pain. It's one of the most annoying <laughs> uh, quests in this entire game. Come to think of it, in this playthrough, it may not even be worth doing, because we may have already got what it gives us. I'll have a look and see. If it's worth doing, I'll do it. If it's not, then I won't. Okay, so this is the main... Look at the background. Isn't it gorgeous? Honestly, the, the artwork in this game, the design, is incredible. They made such a virtue of the two dimensions and the, the sort of side-scrolling environment. Such a virtue. So pretty. Aha! Yes! And dynamic, too. Those guys, the big bell guys, are from Hondo. Huh? 
I love how, like, weighty and heavy the Penitent one is. It's very unusual for a game of this type to have a character who plays in this way, where he's kind of awkward. Ow. Well, that hurt. I also love the little blurb at the beginning, which I believe is new for this add-on, which explained a little bit more about the way the miracle works. So when the miracle occurred for the first time, it allowed the people of Custodia to manifest their penance physically without dying. So they, their sins and their the penance that they inflicted upon themselves manifested, like this guy who split down the middle, um, without it being terminal. There's Hondo. You can see the, the outer curvature of Hondo. It's a big inverted bell that's in the ground. I don't yet. No, I haven't got an available offering for that area yet. I need to face the sister for that, if I remember correctly. But I'm not sure we are going to face her now. Because we got the... Oh, hello! Oh, penitent one. Oh, penitent one. Roads under the same firmament. Firmament. I love him. Brilliant stuff. Genuflectors, yeah. Pretty! Hmm, I really like that. Hondo! It's a great concept, isn't it? What a great fantasy concept. They're amazing stuff. Wish to cross to the other side of this ancient valley to move on to the next destination. Best of luck. Oh, my sins. Who could help me? Yeah, you aren't gonna get very far in that condition, are you, mate? Look for a crossing to the other side, so as to continue my penance in wandering. Ah, don't let it be a disturbance to thee, penitent and guilt. For my feet will find their long wait walking. No, it's fine. We'll get you where you need to go. May thy trade silence neither thy spirit nor thy friend. Yes, I like his story. We're definitely going to be uh, taking him to the very end of it. It's not pleasant, as you can imagine. This is like Dark Souls, you know, and Bloodborne. It's one of those games where nobody comes to a good end, really. Not even the penitent one. Then again, I mean... It's questionable as to what the Penitent One is actually doing. There's, just like the, the hero in Dark Souls, you know, the character you play in Dark Souls, there is this sincere question of, like, who he is and what he's doing and why. Oh, Scapular of Carlos the Executioner. His hatred for people was as great as his love for animals. When he was ordered to execute a dog that had bitten a bishop, Carlos refused for the first and last time. <laughs> uh, uh, all right. That's kind of amusing. So the all the characters here worship Hondo the Great Bell. And their penitence is reflected in that. It's really peculiar and very cool. So one of the things we've got to do is reactivate Hondo. We've got to get it to chime. Um, and to do that, we need to unlock these three, these, this immense bell that's at its heart. And that will cause the whole thing to resound again. It's this giant, mad structure of clockwork and mechanics and whatnot. It's brilliant, really. It's absolutely stunning stuff. Reminds me a little bit of the Mad Hatter's area in um, American McGee's Alice. It's got that feeling about it. Now, I need the uh, I need the tongues. That's it. The three gnarled tongues. That's it. There we go. I don't think this will be anything. I'm just going to get it. No, Tears of a Tone. Nothing really that useful. We've already got whatever was in there. I imagine it was a hymn. It usually is. When you first play through the game, of course, which... Uh, We've done twice now. <laughs> nah. 
then again, nothing to bemoan. I, I will play through this game any number of times, because it's great fun. And it's one of those worlds very much like um, Lothric and um, Dranglech and Yarnum. You, you really miss being in it when it's over. It's such a wonderful place. It's such a wonderfully dark, decadent world. Um, you miss being in it when it's over. Speaking of which, by the way, I finally managed to get my hands on a PS5 at the long bloody last. So, when it comes to it, when my, it's a pre-order, unfortunately, so we'll have to wait a little while, but I have managed to pre-order one. And uh, when I do get it, we'll uh, be able to have a look at the remake of Demon's Souls and, indeed, uh, Elden Ring. So that's going to be fun. Can't wait for that. Cannot wait for that. I may even get the uh, PS5 version of uh, Resident Evil Village because I love that game so, so much. I will play through it again on another system happily. I'm actually playing through it again with some friends of mine at the moment and they were mesmerised by it. Absolutely mesmerised. We played it for... I hadn't seen them for many... Well, you know, because of COVID and whatnot. I hadn't seen them for months and we, we played it through for six hours. We actually went straight... We went from... Um, Castle de Matresque, right through to Heisenberg's factory in one sitting. Not too bad, eh? Not too bad at all. I like the puzzles in Hondo. All of them are sort of sound-based. So you've got to, like, get these, um... These speakers and bells resounding in the correct order to shatter... The locks that are keeping things closed. It's kind of cool. Ow, thank you. Also, these sort of bloody Medusa head equivalents are everywhere. There we go. That's activated that shortcut. Yay! Now, we can either travel deeper into Hondo, or we can come up on the other side. Um, which is where... I think it's another way to the Brotherhood of Silent Sorrow, if I remember correctly. Um, Redento should be happy now, because the... Um, the thing should be moving, if I remember correctly. Or is it moving yet? I think we need to come up on the other side, don't we? Yeah. We need to go and do the other side. Let's go do that. Alright. Alright. There is no boss in Hondo itself. There's no actual, like, end to Hondo itself. But it actually leads to a deeper area where there is a boss. And it's a really annoying one. Um... Annoying because it's kind of broken. The programming is a bit off on it, sadly. In fact, the first time I beat it, I beat it because it glitched. <laughs> it glitched out. Um, otherwise, I may not have. Oh, something just killed itself. That's fun. You can see the big bell in the background. Look, this is what we need to do. There are statues of saints all the way through Hondo. And they each represent one... They hold one of those chains that's holding the bell in place. We need to destroy them all. Each of the statues we need to destroy. And that will let the bell ring again. I mean, the, the Penitent One's a really fascinating character. He's kind of like a... He's undead, for one thing. He was murdered um, when the rest of his order were purged on Escrabar's orders. Uh, but rose again as a result of the uh, miracle's influence. And now it's hard to tell how much of the man is left and how much of him is just like a... a vessel for the miracle. That he is a vessel for the miracle is undeniable. But what that actually means is open to interpretation. Some people think it's a positive thing. Some people seem to think that he is an agent for true divinity. Others think not. Others think that there is an infernal and indeed, as the title suggests, blasphemous quality to his, to his quest. And one thing is true. He changes the entire metaphysics of this world when he wins at the end. Oh, vertebra of John the Gambler. Let's have a look at it then. Uh, known for his gambling skills, many believe that John Van Gammermintz's fate was guided by the high wills. The day his luck ran out, so did his life. Poor John. <laughs> but yeah, some people think that the... Um, one thing the Penitent One does do is he changes everything at the end. Um, 
if you manage to defeat Escrabar, if you manage to get the good ending, the whole metaphysics of this world is changed by it, especially if you do all the add-ons. Oh yeah, this is difficult. We've got to time this correctly. Um, if we don't, that will knock us off. It will knock us right back down to the beginning, so we've got to be very careful here. There we go, and again. If you can kill these things, then you'll stop that effect happening. Because they're the ones that make it happen with their bloody bells. Hello, what's this? Ooh, very good, yes. Always want no empty bile vessels. It's always a positive thing. Uh, so many sort of like leaps of faith here. Oof, which is, uh, you know, appropriate, I suppose. There we go. Yeah, I mean, by from the ending, it's very clear that there are those who believe the Penitent One, oh yes, absolutely, to be a, a negative force, to be a, a blasphemous force. That it's not the miracle that's guiding him, it's some misinterpretation or misrepresentation of the miracle. Or some perversion of it, in fact, which is um, kind of cool, right? That said, he does win. He does win out, which kind of suggests that the miracle is acting through him. I mean, he wouldn't actually win were that not the case. Ah, so we've got to time this so that it the uh, reverberations destroy that uh, lock. I mean, he manages to defeat Escrabar. That's kind of the end of the argument, you know? He ascends to a position within um, the metaphysics of Custodia. Oh, we nearly got it then. Not quite, though. But quite what that means is left open to a quite a wide interpretation, to be honest. There we go. He certainly changes a lot in Custodia. I mean, he destroys so much. He ends so, so much that's established within this metaphysics. Like the Scientas of the Miracle, for example, which is for the, um, the characters from the last add-on. The Saitas, they are part of the Grievous Mir- What was that? Did you hear- What's that? Did you hear that? The screaming? That's weird. Um, the Saitas have been part of the Grievous Miracle for eons. And yet he destroys them. He raises them and destroys them. Um, it's a very peculiar thing. Okay, so what you need to- Sorry about that, my loves. My, I'm going to have to replace this um, controller very soon because it keeps cutting out for some reason. Um, and it did there. It just cut out for some reason. No worries, though. We're back now and we managed to do that little puzzle there. Uh, right. We should be up on the other side now. Or oh, very soon, anyway. We are approaching the other side of Hondo. And that from there we can activate the um, the mechanism that will carry Redento over um, and carry on his story. And we do want to do that. Believe me, we really want to do that. Okay, okay. Ah, now there's some puzzles here too. I mean, everything here we've already got, technically, I think. Most things here we've already got. Uh, oh, Christ. I <laughs> love those guys. They are amazing. Brilliant monster design. 
huge guy wearing a gigantic cracked bell. It's amazing. Obviously disciples of Hondo, right? There we go. Now this is tricky. I think we need to wear the tongues here. That will cause the branches to grow. Um, yeah, let's take that off and put that on. This way if we fall it won't be too much of a problem. This is tricky because he could knock us off. He could actually knock us into the pit, which is um, not the best, really. Oh, tits. Need to be closer to the edge, which is a little bit uh, risky. Gotcha. There we go. What have we got? Tears of Atonement, so it's not anything significant. It might have been. I'm just going to see what's down here, just in case there's something significant. There isn't. It's just this puzzle. Okay, that's fine. But yes, I managed to get a PS4, a PS5. I'm very, 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 very happy about it. I've got to say, uh, I've been aching to play the uh, remake of Demon Souls for ages because I've never played Demon Souls before. It's one of the few of those from Soft games that I've never played. I came in a bit late for it, to be honest. Um, I, the first of the from Soft games I played was um, oh hello, there's a cherub here. Uh, was Bloodborne. So well late on, really. And I've played them all since then, apart from Demon's Souls. Demon's Souls is the only one. So to be able to play it in a remastered version, you know, as a next-gen game is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Of course, I will be Let's Playing it. Um, so that should be fun. And, of course, the, the beautiful-looking Elden Ring. Cannot wait. Cannot wait for that. It looks incredible. I've actually been watching uh, quite a few of Vati Vidya's videos about it, and it, it looks sublime. It really does. Oh, look at that. I love the way you can see the curvature of Hondo. There we go. There we are. So that's the what Redento needed to cross over. And of course, we're just going to go and cross and let him know. Because he won't do it himself. Ah, uh, hello. So I need to take the tongues off and put the other one on, though. What's this? Is it anything good? Oh! I love this. The fact that, um, because we're replaying the game and we're doing a new game plus and we've got all of these items that allow us to access areas that you wouldn't be able to otherwise, we can actually build the penitent one up before we've even started doing the main storyline. So we haven't even done any of the bosses yet. Hello! You're welcome, sir. It is of little use for me to remain here. Go with the father, O Penitent One. Oh, thank you. Tears of Atonement. Lovely. There you go, sir. Yeah, he'll 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 bugger off now. Uh, presumably, he'll use this to get across the gap. Although, given his um, bound and unbalanced state, that might be. A little treacherous, to be honest. Oh well, he does get around, you know, for someone who is so hampered, he does he does get around. There we are. Okay, now we can come up on the other side of the um it's the mountains of dusk, I think. We come up on the other side of the mountains of dusk, then up into the uh the penitent brotherhood. Love these guys, with their bull skull things on their heads. Bastards. <laughs> oh, the way they bleed is so gross. Pour blood out of those masks. It's bleh. If you look very closely at all the sprites, every single one is inflicted with their own very peculiar mutilations and states of suffering. It's, it's quite brilliant. Ow. Right. Ow. Let's get over here. There we are. So what's this? Dry clove. Oh, those are for the um, the kisses of wounds. Back in El Piero. Any of the sort of herbalistic items are for them. And I think you do get something particular if you get them all. I can't remember what it is. You've probably already got it, to be honest. 
God, the layers of parallax in the background of this would shame Shadow of the Beast. That's some old video game terminology for you there. Parallax scrolling. I remember when that was new. I remember when this was all fields. Parallax scrolling fields at that. Okay, so this is right back at the beginning of the game, I think. Yeah, Brotherhood of the Silent Sorrow. We've just come up underneath. So, we can activate this. We may as well. Why not? I mean, it's it, there's no point. It's already done, but we'll activate it. You know, just for the sake of completion. Oh, yeah! There's this... Uh there's this is oh yeah this is just another portal but there's actually the spirit that um uses our, our rosary ropes now just up here i believe so we'll go and do that definitely hello wow beautiful Oh, it doesn't seem that disfigured, really. Solidad, by name. I was looked up on the orders of his holiness in this cage. That the miracle then proceeded to decorate. Oh, right. That's interesting. That is fascinating. My will has granted me the opportunity to help you while my body remains a blue flame. Hmm. I will wait, sleeping, until you hand the knots over to me, so that my hands of smoke may tie them, thus expanding the mysteries of your rosary. Very cool. Yes, absolutely. Now let my fingers tie a new mystery. We've got quite a few, actually, if I remember correctly. Do you have more knots for me, penitent one? I believe I do, yes. Fantastic. Return once you possess new rosary knots to thread. Now, how do you get through those blocked doors? I can't quite new remember. There is a way of doing it, I just can't remember what it is. So we can now uh, put new beads on our rosary, which just enhances the penitent one a little bit. Uh, very useful. Ooh, the space for another relic too! So there must be a new relic somewhere in the game. That's good to know. Okay, so what have we? Hmm, big toe of limestone, that could be good. Acts, adds an extra thrust while in the air. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's see. What should we put on here? Uh, increases the fervor generated by attacks. Tend to want to block. That's good. That's pretty good. Reliquary of the Suffering Heart. That's pretty cool. I like that. Did I get that for completing the game the last time with this penance on? I think I did. That's kind of fun. Oh, hello! God, he managed to get here quick, didn't he? Bitter moments reunite us again, penitent one. I know, right? An unsurmountable wall seemeth to interpose itself between our feet and our holy destinations. I like his overall Will speech. There ever be a blessing that save us from this sorrow? Oh dear. Didums, eh? Well, I can't do it from this side, mate, but uh, maybe from the other side. Oh, hello, Escrabar. Yeah. You're a bit of a wanker, aren't you, really? Hmm. Not for very long, though. I will uh, dispose of that statue later. When I've got the bead. Okay, so now we're going to have to do this, which is the... Uh, the Penitent Brotherhood's um, little gauntlet... 
which is a pain in the arse. So let's get this done. This is pretty lethal, actually. If you don't do this all in one go, you die. <laughs> um, it's it, there are, it will not allow you to make many mistakes, this. It's a very tricky little obstacle course. Oh, oh I've got to be so careful of the controls here. Oh, you bastard. This can be very tricky and Oh, no, no! Oh, God. It's not going to let me get away with mistakes like that. I can tell you. That was just luck that I survived that. Okay, now I need to... God, this is... No! Okay, this is tricky. This is very tricky indeed, actually. But we are getting there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Woo! Jesus. Or not. <laughs> it would be Twisted One, wouldn't it, in this instance? He's the Jesus figure of this particular religion. Okay. Okay. God almighty. God, it's no good. It's no wonder that they're such brilliant warriors, really, is it? This is what they put themselves through. It does look as though they're a much more sort of militarized, militant order than many of the others in Custodia. You have acquired Metatarsus of Rikusia, the Traveller. Uh, almost no details of his background are known, but those who crossed his path claim later that Rikusio carried a small, strange, luminous plate uh, that emitted a faint... What? That emitted a faint voice? Okay. Metatartus of Rikusio the Traveller. Or Rikusio the Traveller. These are all... All the names, by the way, are of the, the, the uh, characters whose bones you collect are the people uh, who funded this project. It's really cool. There we go. There you are, man. How's that? Get through now, can't you? I'm not worthy of thine infinite compassion. Blessed are those of us who find it. You're welcome, man. I will pray for thee and thank the master for his holy encounter. Oh, you're, you're welcome. My feet are marching towards holy prohibitions. How can a simple pilgrim advance through such fortifications? That's a fair point. Holy prohibitions is a nasty place. Well, for you, mate, very. We don't need to do this. We've already got the ball of blue wax, I think. If we haven't, we'll do it. Um, we'll do it later. So we've done that. Uh, where are we going? Oh, we're sort of back at the beginning of the game now, so we can start uh, marching through again, which is kind of cool. Ah! There we are. Right, now we need to... Mu I think what we need to do, we need to start doing anyway, is the first quest of the game, which is the the three penances. We need to gather the three penances, uh, which basically means kill the first three bosses. Um, I think I'm going to do them out of order this time, though, because I can. I'm going to go do the one in the, um, in the mountains first, I think. There he is again, TSO, having fun. Or not, as the case may be. Back on the holy line. Love how melancholy this place is. It's so cool. But I love the fact that, like Dark Souls, and the uh, the mythology of the dark sign, and uh, humanity, and the abyss, and all that gubbins, the miracle is a real thing. It doesn't... Bo it's not just like something people believe. It's not just a matter of faith. It is an actual physical thing. So the agonies of the miracle are part, part of the physics of Custodia. I love that. It's material. I really love that. I mean, that doesn't tell you anything about what the miracle is. Or what mechanism it operates by. Or what in what causes it to happen it just tells you that it's real it's entirely possible and i don't know maybe th there is a blasphemous 2 in production maybe they'll explore that in the next game like quite what it it's entirely possible that the people of custodia have, have dreadfully misinterpreted what the miracle is right 
It's entirely possible. That would make things very sad if that's the case. Considering what they've made of it, which is a thing of mutilation and suffering. I kind of hope, that, hope that's the case. It will lend it this air of very melancholy irony, which would be wonderful. Now, where are we going? What are we doing? I can't quite remember, if I'm honest. We've got to... We've done that. Oh, we can give this person... Yes, Tentudia's carnal remains. Give. This poor lass. I were they? Because I just found this lying around. Mm. Right. We don't know, do we? Right. Okay, very interesting. I think I've got... Have I got some of the next room? No, I haven't. Not yet. So those doors won't open yet. But they will. I've always wondered about this area. That transitional area. Nothing happens there. Makes me wonder. Ah! Oh, bloody hell. This is one of my favourite areas too. The the graveyard of, of of desolate churches. It's so cool that you get the impression that maybe these are all the temples and cults and creeds that have been destroyed or forgotten or declared excommunicate. Just gathered here. So cool. I just love the concept. I love the notion. It's wonderful. The Wasteland of the Buried Churches. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful stuff. And maybe that's why everything here is so wretched, right? These are all the the penitent remains of those churches, yeah? They're the wretches that remain without any church or temple to call their own. Any brotherhood. One does get the impression that there are only a few left, right? Only a few uh, mandated, approbated churches of the miracle. I mean, how many? How many are still in operation? There's the the temple in the mountains, the uh, the nunnery. There's Escribar's church, but that's kind of like a that's like a a Catholic whole. That's all of the churches together. Um, there's the... I can't remember what they're called, but the Crusading Templar Brotherhood that protects Escrabar. That's still in operation. There are not many, I can tell you that. There are not many at all. And even some of those you encounter have the quality of being forgotten about them. They're buried in places. Hondo is obviously another one. Um, they have the impression of just being long forgotten. Nobody really cares about them anymore apart from those who subscribe to them. And even then there's not much in uh, hope in them. You know, they... Those who are parts of their congregations aren't by choice anymore or through faith. They just endure in their conditions of prescribed suffering. It's really dark, really unpleasant. Love it to bits, I've got to say. Love it. So we're going up to where the olive trees wither because that, that's what we're going to do first. It's one of the tougher areas of the game. It's an area where there are lots of secrets to do. One of the Saitas is up here too, so we can we can have a go at that. One of the harder Saitas at this stage of the game actually is up here, so we're gonna have a we'll give that a go. Oh, bloody hell, this is a this is a tricky little uh, sort of physical puzzle here. 
Right, my loves. I think we've already got this. When I come back, we'll explore a little deeper. Until then, my dears. Ha-ba-bye. Let's just get this. Bye.